All right, y'all. So I can imagine I'm not the only one, uh, but this headline about Lizzo kind of threw me for a loop. And when I did some more research into it, I'm just like, mm, it doesn't sound, it's not sounding too good, y'all. It's just, it's just not sounding too good. So I wanted to bring you this so that we could talk about it, get into some articles. Let's go. Okay, so NBC came out with this exclusive that kind of went everywhere. <laughs> it makes sense that it did because, geez, former Lizzo dancers were weight shamed and pressured while at strip club lawsuit claims. So let's just dig in, y'all. Three of Lizzo's former dancers have accused the singer of sexual harassment and creating a hostile work environment in a lawsuit filed Tuesday. So later in the article, it says... In addition to accusations of a hostile work environment and sexual harassment, the suit brings claims for religious and racial harassment, false imprisonment, interference with prospective economic advantage, and other allegations, but not every claim was brought against each defendant. And there are a couple of defendants. There's Lizzo, there's her company, and there is the dance captain, her dance captain, Charlene. Um... So when I saw this, I was shocked. I'm sure, like I said, like like most other people would be. And then as I'm recording this, I just, literally just, just as I'm recording this, I just saw that Lizzo's former creative director and another one of her former dancers spoke out in support for the lawsuit that was filed. They were saying that it reflected their own experiences that they had with her. So just, I'm just preferencing, I'm just giving y'all the tea. Like this is what's coming out. Okay, so let's let's continue with the article. They also alleged that she pressured one of them to touch a new performer at an Amsterdam club and subjected the group to an excruciating audition after leveling false accusations that they were drinking on the job. So the dancers accused Lizzo of calling attention to one dancer's weight gain and later berating, then firing that dancer after she recorded a meeting because of health, because of a health condition. They're talking about a dancer recording the meeting, not Lizzo recording a meeting. Uh, the suit also alleges or accuses the captain of Lizzo's dance team of proselytizing to other performers. Oh, I hate when y'all do that shit. It is so preposterous when y'all do that shit. Come out here trying to spread the gospel strategy, literally imposing your religion onto other people. But if somebody came out here and said, oh, well, I worship Zeus. Everybody bow down and, and worship Zeus. Everybody close your eyes. Everybody, we about to pray, y'all. We about to pray to start the meeting. Meanwhile, the meeting ain't fucking, we ain't in church. We ain't in no religious meeting. We at work. We about to, we about to, we had an event. We about to start the prayer. Everybody pray to Zeus. I bet that a lot of people would have an issue with it. Oh, I don't pray to no, no gods like that. I don't pray to no Zeus. I don't pray to no Athena. I pray to, so it's just like, girl, I don't pray to white Jesus. And y'all gonna have to, I hate when people do that. Anyway, 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 anyway. So apparently the dance captain was doing that, um, proselytizing to other performers who had premarital sex while at the same time sharing lewd sexual fantasies simulating oral sex and publicly discussing the virginity of one of the plaintiffs and to me this paradoxical behavior sounds exactly like somebody who would uh proselytize like it really does <laughs> it sounds exactly like the kind of person who would be heavily investing in proselytizing okay so who are the dancers who are suing um davis and another former dancer crystal williams began performing with lizzo after competing on her amazon reality show watch out for the big girls in 2021 the third noel rodriguez was hired the same year after performing in the video rumors so let's get to what allegedly happened at the amsterdam club um at the amsterdam strip club lizzo allegedly began inviting cast members to take turns touching the new performers allegedly she wanted them to you know eat stuff coming out of the performers bananas and stuff you can read it here i ain't gonna go into it for real lizzo then turned her attention to miss davis and began pressuring miss davis to touch uh one of the nude women davis apparently declined three times but then eventually did so after lizzo led a chant goading her to do so um she the chant grew louder and louder more strident demanding a visibly uncomfortable miss davis to engage with the performer it goes on and on and then they're talking about a week later after a show in paris lizzo apparently invited her dancers to a club so 
they would be able to learn something or be inspired by the performance. But then the lawsuit says what Lizzo failed to mention when inviting the dancers to this performance was that it was a nude cabaret bar. Um, the plaintiffs were shocked that Lizzo would conceal the nature of the event from them, robbing them of the choice not to participate. So that's the first part of it. There's like three parts that the article goes into. Now, the second part of it is just talking about the harassment claim. The racial harassment claim is linked to what the lawsuit describes as comments charged with racial and fat phobic animus that were made by touring company employees. Um, in one instance, the former dancers asked to be compensated for their downtime at a rate of 50% of their weekly pay. According to the lawsuit, an accountant allegedly responded to the request by offering 25% and scolding them for being unacceptable and disrespectful. Only the dance cast comprised of full figured women of color were ever spoken to in this manner. Um, the lawsuit states, then I guess the next part is the religious part of it. The religious harassment allegation is connected to Charlene, who's the dance captain. Um, according to the lawsuit, she was preaching her Christian beliefs and took every opportunity to proselytize to any and all in her presence, regardless of the protestations. And that makes, so, I mean, we've all met this kind of person, the kind of person who demands that you believe that there is some santa claus tooth fairy in the sky scanning your every thought and they bring it to every you know work meeting every conversation every single interaction they bring it to you with but you can't those kind of people would never tolerate you pushing your own beliefs on them after discovering that davis was a virgin charlene apparently discussed the subject in interviews and posted about it on social media the lawsuit says and when cast members asked her to stop pressuring Rodriguez, whom Charlene regarded as a non-believer, according to the lawsuit about her faith, Charlene responded, no job and no one will stop me from talking about the Lord. Spoken like the true white supremacist who cleaned entire civilizations out to enforce, to proselytize in the same kind of way that you think your ass is doing right now. Uh, oh, I can't stand that shit. <laughs> I cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. I hate it. Dance. Okay, so now we're talking about the dancers who were fired. Two dancers were fired in April and May. According to the lawsuit, Williams lost her job uh, on April 26, days after she spoke up at a meeting in which she challenged an assertion from Lizzo that the dancers were drinking before performances. They're talking about Lizzo demanding uh, that the groups are group audition again. They're talking about excruciating 12-hour rehearsals. Um, if Lizzo was dissatisfied with her performances, apparently, allegedly, girl, I gotta keep saying that, the dancers would be fired and sent home. During rehearsal, apparently one of the dancers, Davis, was so fearful she'd lose her job if she went to the bathroom that she soiled her pants, but she was given a see-through outfit with no undergarments to finish the performance. Five days later, Lizzo's tour manager fired Williams in a hotel lobby, the lawsuit says, the manager attributed the termination to budget costs. Nobody else was fired, apparently. Now, Rodriguez complained to the manager about the decision to publicly fire Williams, a move that Lizzo repeatedly raised with the dancers during an April 27th meeting, during which she had told the group that she had eyes and ears everywhere. One of the dancers apparently recorded one, some of the meeting, one of the meetings, and Lizzo did, apparently did not like that going person by person around the room until someone told her who made the recording. She was berated and fired. And before she left, apparently Lizzo was cracking her knuckles and balling her fists. As Rodriguez left, the lawsuit says Lizzo raised both her middle fingers and yelled a slur, the false imprisonment charge here. The lawsuit alleges false imprisonment against Lizzo's production company because a member of her security detail allegedly forced Davis to remain in the room after the meeting ended so he could search her phone for the video. The suit does not specify a dollar amount for damages that cover emotional distress, including unpaid wages, loss of earnings, and attorney so it's just this is just all the information that we have right now um this it seems like this story is going to be developing right it seems like we'll have a lot more to talk about once uh like we could really see everything once more 
issues once more of the losses is, is uncovered. I really, really want all of this to just be total fabrication. <laughs> just so badly. I want it to be total fa fabrication. I want it to be just, you know, nonsensical lies that come out of nowhere. But history has, uh, has taught us often uh, that at the end of the day, we really don't know none of these celebrities. And that's just the tea. So all we can really do is pay attention to what's going on, pay attention to what these dancers, what these people are saying, pay attention to what's going on in the lawsuit, pay attention to the evidence, and come to our conclusion as the story continues to develop. But like I said, I just, you don't, at the end of the day, you don't know. All of this shit is alleged, whatever. But like at the end of the day, we got to be real and say we just, we don't know these people. <laughs> like we just know what they show us. We we see what they want us to see. We hear what they want us what want us to hear, and that's it. So if the, if there's truth to this, then obviously, you know, you would want as a dancer, as an artist, as whatever, you would want to be working in a healthy, safe, comfortable, inspiring environment that's not filled with harassment and also doesn't have people forcing their religious views onto your ass when you're trying to work, when you're in a professional space. So yeah, it's really shocking to me. Like if all this shit is true, especially with the brand that Lizzo has built and the kind of person that she has shown herself to be, like this is just really, it would be really sad, really unfortunate, right? But at the end of the day, the most important thing is that people feel safe, you know, and that people nobody's being hurt, nobody's doing shit against their will, nobody is um, being preached fucking to while they're at work. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, like that's the most important thing. Our feelings about these celebrities or people that we think we know comes second to like the facts of this. It comes second to the T. It just comes second to what actually happened and what's going on. So, I mean... My view is like, like it always is. If there's any harm happening in these places, in these spaces, it just needs to fucking not. And it's really sad. Like I said, if this is the case that it would be coming from fucking Lizzo, like really. It would be. So all we can do is keep our eyes on the lawsuit, eyes on what's going on, see how the story develops and we'll just talk about it later. But yeah, this is what's going on y'all. The timeline went absolutely crazy on this one, but yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Love y'all so much. And make sure that you have a good goddamn evening. Give you all black like Mercedes. You could take my soul, just let me be first lady. But I won't sacrifice this pussy for a maybe. You gotta slay me.